Hey everyone, Son of Beast and Terry Crews here. This is NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs 24 on EA Sports. Hey everybody, it's Silver Spoon. Welcome to the Western Conference Finals of the NHL Stanley Cup Conference Finals. This time we are ready to send you down to the West Coast and Western Conference to get started underway. This is the first game that's happening here for the USA versus the Canadian team on the other side. And for this great matchup, it's the Dallas Stars and the Vancouver Canucks. Let's have a look at the X-Factor players as we start the visiting team of Dallas Stars. Jason Robertson is one of the better take. The Ailey Puck settling is a great way to have a good ones to snipe a long way down. He's really on to have no pressure zone, but hope to take to make it more come. Next is Mira Heiskanen. He goes with this move. He has it in reverse to have it going skiing backwards of his take. It's great enough to have it coming, but we'll have to see what he can do to take over. Next is Jake Ottinger. The Energizer is really taking his better percentage out there, but the real take is not for anyone else that can try to leave the open room. With this amazing perception, it really has to take over for one angle at a time. But as you may already know, that one was a great one to make a maximize team energy, with his desperation saves got a wild one. Then it's Rukens with the wheels. He has a great one to have an elite skating with the puck. He really has a great flying down the other side of his own. It's just a great way to make a timeout attack work for Rukens' team to get right through it. Finally, it's Joe Pavelski. It's a big tipper to have an elite shot deflection. The last game happened against the Winnipeg Chucks. Now let's see if we can manage to have it off to make it go through. Alright, let's send you down to Vancouver side. The first one starts it up with Elias Pedersen. His sniper the zone has to be an elite puck settling to have a long range shot. It's a great way to make that one perceptible and have it all around him to get right from here. A long shot? Take it in. Then it's Quinn Gales with an elite edges to have a great directional change but the agility to make a move. The better one for the captain need to be out there for one heck of a change up on its way. Let's find out if Quinn Hughes can take that one with the sharpened elite edges, just like the other Hughes of the game. And finally, Tatu Demko. The light work has made with his elite shot wrist shot saves have to be making a great way to make a chain off go by. And that's it right now. Let's send you down to Rogers Arena. The next commentary I have is Seven Beast. And he's also along with the other two. And right here in the game with Ball Point Pen and Nickel. And the center ice has to be one take. And it will be all. It will be Roy Cruz to have it start. Let the games at the Western Conference begin for the finals. See you later after this. Hey everybody, it's Son of Beast, and I am here at Rogers Arena for the night's game of the Western Conference Finals between the American and the Canadian team. Both teams lined up and we are ready for hockey. Let's give it a go and get started. The puck drop and we are underway in Vancouver. Son of Beast along with both with Ben and Nicole. This is NHL on EA Sports. Coverage of the Stanley Cup. Conference Finals. Here's an iron take here as we start things up for the Stars. Robertson gives it over to Heiskanen. And Harley will now have it air away to the den with a go look. Backing the skate into Harley. Finds again to Heiskanen. Heiskanen for the shot. Bring the record as Highlander will have it. Now you choose. He will have it in the air away. Find again to Pedersen. Pedersen now finds again to Sutter. Sutter right toward the back. Looks it over, finding Harone. And but Sutter will have it again to Pedersen. Giving the puck away. He finds Hughes. Shot. It's blocked up by Robertson. And a penalty will be called on Rip Pitts in his first penalty call for the Dallas. Power plays coming on the board to get ready to start. It's not going to be happening by the time they go with him. But he's got to watch him out if he gets it. Canucks start their power play on their run in Vancouver. No score in the game. 
The wind puts it in for Vancouver. Free to it and it goes right over again to Linda. Linda will have it over to Steele as Fosca will come up, clear the puck out. Recovered by Fosca. Here's Steele, has it over to get a Honkapa. Again to Linda. Linda gets it again to Honkapa. With the shot, that's stopped by Demko. Trying to go for a short handed goal as it stops it up by Taki Demko. Now they're off and doing our face off. No score in the game, 135 for the Canucks power play. Canucks wins the face off. Now it's back over to Sutter, the airway goes down the line. With the shot, and it's stopped by Ottinger. Rolls it around, Jay Ben. And here's Sutter, he will take it over to Heskinen. Heskinen lost the puck here. Sutter trying to give over again to Garland. Here's Garland, this one loses the puck. We're going to try to give over to Miller. Shot. Good save by Ottinger. And it's now back to Mikhaev. Mikhaev will run in the back. And a save. Mikhaev with a shot stopped by Ottinger. This was easier now. This was not going to be a little bit easier for Jake Ottinger because there's a lot of great saves out there. You really are stepping it up to get through it. Ben. Loose the puck. This one rolls it back in to Ben. The bang, they give it go look. Now Sutter has one. The give over again to Foxa. Again to Honkapaw. Honkapaw can't let the ball hold on with the puck. Stopped by Ben Demko. That will be the first one and a second save of the night. Faceoff coming up for the Canucks and the Stars with 19 seconds remaining in the power play. Now the win puts it in for, for the Vancouver Canucks. Roll it over again to Bouzer. Looks like that hits is ready to be out there on ice. The cut in play loses that one as Hankapuck gives it over now to Foxa. Loose the puck effort. Lindholm gets the deuce. Two still in Oglinger. That puck still puts it up for Lindell. Now here's Pavelski, chance it front, slivers it, stop made by Thatcher Demko. Stopped by Bozor, and now he finds Lindholm. Good poke effort to make the stick. Haskinen stops the puck. Pavelski will try to clear the puck out of here, and Icing's called on Dallas. With the call, here's a chance for Gru. It's a great way to have it. Elias Pedersen with his sniper of his own ability. He has a great way to take his percentageable with a longer shot stop. It's also the same thing with Jason uh, Jason Robertson. He has a lot of it to take with his perception to have that great role in it. These are the two I'll be finding him out about them. It's a lot of great about a longer shot range, and it's also take over with the, anybody else to have the range outside of the top. I'll find out if it's the two in between a Pedersen and Robertson. These, all you. Robinson toward the right wing, you will now find it over again to Pintz. Pintz gets a pass to 10 Ed. 10 Ed with a cut! Loses the puck and there's the penalty, that's on to Neff to try to strap him down. That's the interference and another one comes up for the Vancouver power play. You're not going to do that one anyway because that is a good turnover take and you're not going to play really well. You've got to take over it and you've got to face it. Second chance for the power play for Vancouver Canucks. That will be under right now with 160 minutes to go. The win for Miller. Shoots well, but saved by Adijar. Just 15.45 left to go in the first. This one will stop the play with no score in the game. Now they're ready to do one again. Face off win for Dallas. Rolls around the net. And Harley will now have it over again to Marchman. He fires that one out. As Habitat Demko will give it over to Hughes, and now he brings it over to Bouchur. Full range on the attack. Lost the puck and now finds it over again to Johnston. Fires around the net. Harley now has it over again to Marchman. And here's Hakapa. With the shot release spin. Blocked the stop made by Tatcher Demko. For the cutting bound, lost the effort as Marchman will have it over. This one gets back to Honkapa. Again to Harley. Harley shoots. Glove stop bait by Demko. Got an easier way to make a percentage out there. 
That's a hard one. Not a best turn to make that one percentage invisible. Now he finds Marchman. Marchman went down. Now he finds it over to Hughes. 45 seconds for Vancouver power play. And that's another one. That's going to be a slacking hitch down with an elbowing call on Mason Marchman. Two guys are in a penalty box. Not going to happen well, but you don't play it like that. Just at the bus first game against the Jets, you're doing it too much. This will be a 5 on 3 advantage for Vancouver Canucks with 14.31 to go. Now to win. Here's Mikhaev. Over with the shot. Stopped by Ottinger. 14.26 to go in the first period. No power play given. It's only 0-1 for Vancouver. Now it's a chance here for the Vancouver Canucks to get on the board for a power play. And the win will put it in for Dallas. So we'll try to clear that puck out. Now it rolls around the net. And Hayes can in. Hayes can in try to give over. The deep pass over. Koska trying to deflect it. And it's now Berlin with the puck. Over to Sutter. Sutter trying to race it in down. Toward the airway to Mikhaev. A Ronek shot. Locked up by Heiskanen. This one clears it out. Fosco will get it headed over again. It's a 5 on 4 now. 5 on 3 advantage. We just stopped out. As right now, the one player is off. Our player is still in the penalty box with one minute on the power play. Here's a Ronek. And this one knocking out of here as Heiskanen will give it fire out deep. Heiskanen will now have it over to Mikhaev. And now he has a game to Sutter. The pass over. Can't range it out. Ben can't lose the puck out there. And it's now finding Sutter. Sutter racing in. Shot goes safe by Ottinger. Can't let that happen already because that one was Ottinger to make a save. This one really doesn't blame down that. They don't believe what they can definitely do. But they got to keep a little moving in there if they get there. Mikhaev right toy right round in the wing. Lose that effort. Makes it March with time. It's about to expire. And a chance for Ben. The pass over. Green connected. This one is stopped by Demko. And just only 12 32 left to go in the first. Now they're ready for the next face off. Power play is coming down to an end, so they have no chance here. This will be an 0 3 run for the Canucks power play. Great job of the effort. I was really noticing that they were going to get off and complain. I don't really say what they were doing, but that is just what they're doing with the defense. You know, this is not what they always expect to get now, but they got to do something a little bit out of it. And they need to find somebody else to get there. They don't have the perfect timing to get right through it. And I don't know what's going to keep them coming down because they were really, like, ripping it out of here. It's no other way. They need to get this one moving here just quickly amount of time. Johnson finds the net. The Tanev pass to Harley against the Johnston. He fires that shot. Rings off the post and went back behind the net. And back to Harley. Back to Johnston. Another kick for Canucks. And Tanev tries to give a pass over to Harley. Nino, need more look. With the shot. Oh, and it's off the chest and it gets again to Lindholm. The Canucks are back into the offense trying to get back more. And the pass broken up. He fires that one around the net. And Duchesne will have it now. Fires it! Willing with the shot saved here by Demko. This needs to be really like instantly. Gotta get that one in there with the better time of the angle. And just like you got here before, the last game that happened with in season one was a great matchup in the Western Conference semi with the conference finals. They played it really well. And as you may have already noticed, guys, the appearances of Colorado Avalanche and Calgary Flames were the better ones to take. Not always the easier one on EA Sports, but this one happens to be more than constantly. Just made it easier. I was always saying that happened with game one and two. This may have happened with only two games that was happening in Colorado. But then, the next two was coming in for Calgary. I was really expecting. They would really love that one in here. They tied that series up really well. And that one with the, with the Noah as, um, as um, you know, Noah Durant. And as, as right now, it's uh, a great way 
as Monahan is really need to get that one in there. I really love that. That playable is just a making it believable to have that one in there with the better strength. I know it wasn't really easy enough with that, but hey, you got to give that one a great credit if you can get that one in there. They really loved it. And that one happened game five. This one really happens to be Colorado back in the league. And then Colorado wins the series in Calgary in game six. And that's when it does come out to make the win out of it go possible. Here, Pavelski shot saved up by Tachinenko. I know what happened already, but that one really was going to be a close call for Pavelski. This seems to be out there the right amount of time. Denko makes a stop with 9.30 to go in the first period. Great stop effort for Tatcha Demko as he'll be ready to take another face off. On the better take for Tatcha Demko, the light work has made a great save to have an early wrist shot. It's better ones to have. The other ability that has it all of him, that has the goaltender reaction, it's a great way to have it. Missed a shot as Lindell will give it over to Hicks. You know, can't be hard enough to get right through it, but Hicks is really need to get this one straight. Gotta have the right timing to get it. And shoots it, saved up by Tachidemko. Robertson will now try to find it over to Hankapo. Hankapo loses that one. Now Lindell will have it over again, back to Pavelski. He fires that one around the net. And gets the pass over in the middle and it's broken out. Robertson tried to get over, and the pass broken up. Ottinger will now have it over again to Lindell, and with a new line change coming on the court. Here's Robertson right around the net. Pavelski trying to bail it out. The reach out to Heiskanen. Can't make the move work. Mikhaev finds Verona. Face up the corner of the wall near the blue line. This is another hit for Dallas. They need to get this one certainly. And that was not even happening. But that was really like out of control sight. I don't know what's going to keep on coming in down, but that needed to be out there one word at a time. Smith lost the cut, and Hollander will have it over the other way. Slam it down right near the board, and then Steele will have it out of the other way to Fosca. Fosca trying to give it over the other way to Steele. Here's Steele with the shot. And this one is redirected and right go again, and Hollander will now have it. Looks like there's a one-on-one -on -one chance toward a corner. The pass over, and it's shot. And the penalty called on Thomas Carley. That will be another power play coming up for Vancouver. Not easy when you do it for Thomas Carley, but that needs to be blocked. That was a not great option. The next power play coming on for the Canucks. And this one down to 717 left. Now the win, here's Hyperpop. Hagabon now has it over on the other side. He will fire it out over to Hintz. And Hughes will have it the air away. Loose that puck effort, and Tanev will try to fire it around again to Hankapa. Hintz will clear the puck out. Patterson's got that puck. Vancouver back the air away, and Hintz with the puck steal. Fires again to Ben. Bang! Got a little bit of bump down. Hikapa gives the kids. Hits. And open look for Ben. Saved by Demko. Great one, -on one timing shot for Ben, but that was denied by the goaltender. You know, definitely easier what maybe Jimmy Ben has really been doing. It's just getting a lot much better, but that didn't still make the cut out of here, because that didn't really make a save out of it to go right in between. I know it wasn't really easy enough, but that needed to be out there. Tosca and broken the stick. That must have been on Pedersen, I think. But it seemed like that this will be a save with 6.09 to go. Pedersen's replacing the stick and just coming down toward the wire with only six minutes to go. Dallas wins the faceoff. Sort of shy. That's stopped by Demko with a deflection and with only 6.04 to go. Now it's time for another face-off. Just 6-4 left, still a game scoreless. And the Pedersen's team wins the face-off for a power play resuming with 40 seconds. 
Good stop down. That Sutter will now have it over again to Steele. Steele makes his way down. Moves around a chain. No, short Danny goal made, Demko said. I will never appreciate the unit if you can try to get over for me. And the next face off coming up for Vancouver and Dallas. Still a no score in the game. Another win for Lindbergh. Looks like Makaya wants it though. And Bozier, the Louisville, lost the effort. He will keep that puck out again. And Demko's team about to expire. Now finding Hollow there to Bozier. And the power play is over for Vancouver. Hasn't been looking already because they've been shutting down for the Dallas Stars. They got it from here. They, uh, I don't know what's going to keep on happening, but that needs to be a change. Saved by the play by Demko. No deflection over. And this one, Dallas Stars moving it over. Sutter gives it back to Baxkinen. Nice get a shot. Big, big save. No deflection here. Lebowski shot. Hit off the mask. But there's a deflector in as Kids gets their team up ahead by one. I thought the bad timing must have happened out there, but that hits, he just had that chop that puck already, but that was nowhere out that question already. It looks like he was going to cover up in the corner, but that was too soon to get there. So the Canucks have that one of a shocking, disappointing of a run. So Stars start things up for Pence's goal in the first game of the conference semifinals. As right now, Lindo will now have their own team. It's a one up in game. Now the pass over to Robertson. Hunt up a shot, and it's stopped by Demko. For rebound, man saved up again. Freeman, and the penalty's on Dallas. Robertson tripped him over. Now this will be another chance for the power play. Well, they may tie this up already. I mean, who could know? That figure must have been out there. A better dissatisfaction. Unsatisfying with the results. Canucks haven't got their power play goals this time. They're now down to 4.18 to go. Now the win for the team is Hot News will have it out. He has it again to Bozier. And he passes over. And a steal. He fires it around the net. Marchman's got it this time. And he now finds Hankapo. Lost the puck at first. Hankapo watching the Hollander. Move around in, the pass over, and a penalty on Lindell. Wow, this is another penalty on Dallas this time. Mm. I'm watching you, Lindell. You are not messing this up, aren't you? Too late. You're still making us loud and proud. Need to get that tie game to get up. Now the win for Miller. And who fires that shot? That was blocked up as Haskinen will try to fire that puck deep. And Demko will now have it over again to Patterson. Oh, I don't know what Spaska's going to do. I think he must have got that one knocking that somebody out. Hughes has it again to Patterson. All right, he's all alone. One on one. All right, shot sink by Uttinger. Squeezes his own. That misses a shot wide as he went down. Well, this is what this causes is what happened here. That's a lot of defender takedown. I don't know what's going to keep on happening, but that must have been out there for one take. Patterson will now try to regroup here for the Canucks. As right now, that Skews will have it in there. A chance for Garland. And this one's blocked up by Tanev. Nowhere else to go. He will fire that around deep. Demko will settle that puck in. As Skews will have it over the airway. Back to Sutter. Now Garland will have it the airway. Lost that puck effort. And Sankapa will now have it over the airway. And here's Garland. A shot. And a nice big save on the touch play. Back to a five on four. For the deflection, this one stepped out. And as Robertson. Robertson trying to look it in for the shot. It's blocked up. And Demko will take that puck to recover it. Just two or five left to go in the first period. Still looking to get that goal for Vancouver on the power play. 
Now your team's all settled in, ready to go. 1-0 is the score. Hinch's team wins the face off. Short game head. Block that shot. Looks like Lindell's time is about to expire. Off to Bozer. Shot. Stopped by Oninger. And that is it for the power play for the Canucks. And another penalty kill for the Dallas Stars. They're getting over this right now. Well, I guess you're going to have to slow that way and try to think over again. You're not going to play dirty enough, and you don't want that. If you play like this, you're going to have a, a lot of a hard reception to get right to it. You're never going to like that. You're going to definitely get right back, right back into it. Oh, man. That Mason Marchman is in the penalty box. It looks like that the Canucks may have a time game. Another slash call for Dallas Stars. It is now coming down to a 145 left to go. Look at the fans already. Those like you're cheering up there. They are playing dirty already. I can see that. I can tell you what the feeling is happening. Because that power play was going to give it over to the Canucks, they really are trying to like step it out, smoke them out, and they were not really like playing it like they, as they could. I know it's not going to turn easy enough, but that doesn't really make all that sense. They just should stop doing this, and they, they cannot let that one get right into it. Andre stops that puck with 136 to go in the first period. Team on full pressure. 1 0 is the score. Now the win for Dallas. Hakuba trying to get over again to Robertson. Deep firing out into the Canucks zone. The Canucks are back in the offense. It's preserved with the puck. And puck stolen up. Robertson clears it out. Dallas regained your group. And the pass is not going to take it in here. One minute left to remain in the first period. Hollander. And it's much chopping up. And it's Robertson trying to give over now to Johnston. Lindell can't take the pressure. Now the team goes offside. Still a lot of time. It looks like that first period is winding down the books. 1-0 Dallas lead. Who kids wins the face off? Sutter and Ben can't clear that out. Garland will now have their possession in the zone for 40 seconds. And this one gets the Hughes with a look. Hits with the puck steal. Ben, trying to clear that puck out. In the connect zone, Pedersen's got that puck in. Back to Hughes, over down to Sutter. Sutter, breaking the pressure in as Sutter will try to clear it out. Vancouver back the airway looking to Garland. For the vice view shot! Nice catch by Oninger, and it looks like that the first period is already winding down, and that is it. Great job for us two, but it's getting a little too much, too much traffic out of the way. And also with that, with that, with the red stop of going with the power play, I mean that really thing was paying it too much anyway. They gotta keep on it going. They gotta look for somebody else. Where's the defense? Play for real. Welcome back to the Stanley Cup Conference Finals. We're ready to start the second period. And we're off to start things the other way here at Bear Rogers Arena. Fair start, fair start for the Canucks for the power play, but no score has come in. All right, I will have to take a look over for you guys without with a recap of how they did in the first. Well, this is not really well at all. They didn't start the way they used to be. They played it a little bit too dirty out there because of the Dallas Stars, they were not playing it what they were supposed to do. They don't play it like that often because that needs to give somebody else the advice. They need to, they need to do it sometimes with that, with the stop at the bat. And they need to keep on playing it like you did for real. But don't take any effort. You need to think of it something else more. I could agree. They need to find another way to get through it. And they don't want to leave them out behind. I know it's not always easy enough to do this, but you can't let them settle down. You don't take the effort. Well, that's definitely what you're going to have to ask for. 
He was on the director of right wing. Pedersen with the, from the stop. And Adi Jerk clubs it up. 19 2 left to go in the second period. And it's still a 1 0 lead. The face off coming up in between Dallas and Vancouver. And as Hollander went, Patterson wins the face off. Another face off win for the Canucks. As right now, it's a bad save by Ottinger. Hints is right toward the wall. Off the corner again on Howardly. Heskinen, the back pass to Barley. Shot and it's redirected off again. And it's over now, trying to pass it over to Heskinen. Here's Hollander for Emma Rush. Save by Rob Ottinger. This one stays out. Oh, that was a little too close in the range out there. I don't know what's going to keep on happening, but that's a hit. After a replacement for the new glass, they're now back to right do the face-off. That says a big hit already. I was never seeing what's going on with the, in there. And somebody, because he just ran over right into him and said, hey, yo, what's up with you? I was saying, what's up, man? Just trying to get a little bit of a physical contact out there. Ugh. <laughs> a, little, a little dirty being aggressive out there. Heck of a shot, and it's off the mark, and it goes right back in to Micaiah. The rebound puts in for Duchesne. Now Landrias, right, right toward the back. Lindell again to Marchman. Marchman shoots it, locked up. Go for it again, that's off by Demko. Stops the play with 17.33 to go. Face up coming up in between Dallas and Vancouver. And the win puts it in, and here's Lindell. Fires a shot. That's off the glove, and it goes right back again to JT Miller. Trying to kick the puck out of here. And as a road, it will now happen to your way. The pass to Hughes. Hughes on a break. Finding Boucher. Hughes got the puck back again to Mikhail. Mikhail redirected over as Lindell will now have it back to Delandre. Delandre takes a smash hit. Great stop for Quinn Hughes to take that knockout. That's a punching score moment. I never notice what's going to keep on going. The deep pass to Miller. Miller on a move around. Blocker made here by Ottinger. And it's Sutter with a chance over. And here's Tanev right toward the wing. Put a shot. Big save by Demko. 16-22 to go in the second period. So it looking like they wanted to tie this up. We'll take a chance effort to stumble out. Off to another way. Here's Tanev. He fires it. Deep the shot and then stopped by Demko. 16-17 left to go in the second period. Still a one nothing game. Now to ready for the next face-off. Off to another win for Pedersen. And now Freeman will have it over again to Sutter. Sutter right to the right wing. Misses wide. Stapleman clears that puck out of here. And Freeman will have it the airway give again to Hoglander. Hoglander right toward the right wing. He's bubbled up. And right now the airway, the pass is broken up. Patterson trying to give over the pole shot. No deflection here, and it's Sutter. Ben will try to clear the puck out. Stinkleman onto the race. Icing's waved off. And a give and go moment to, to Hintz. That's broken up by Hoglander. Well, that play in the go a moment, that needs to be like a little changing. I don't know what's going to keep on coming. Who scores? Paul Sutter now has their team to tie this up. It's a 1 1 game in Vancouver. That's a great off look. If that was the direction it is, Paul Sutter, that's a great one to take. Get out of that because that one is really taking in there. Because this one skips it over and that deflected right up high. And that one went down low, and it just bounced it off the stick. Now we got the gold tie. So the Canucks and the Stars are now tied up with 15-15 to go in the second. Looking for a chance to take the lead between the two. 
It is now a 15-10 left. And Hicks will have the air away finding Pavelski again to Harley. Harley shot! That's save on the play! Robertson gives it over to, to again to Pavelski. Over now to Harley. Harley shot. This one's loved by Demko. Under 15 minutes remaining in the second. Looks like they wanted to get that one done. Now the batter on the play in Bezanich. Here's the look in between the Vineyard and Demko. Ottinger is one of the takes over in between for the Energizer. He has a lot of it to go right in between of his own. The better one is out there, and it's better one to take that one out of here as soon as they can get them. And that's Retired to Demko with the light work and his really shot save. This one really has to be a turning danger in for anybody. This is what the game is all about, and I will have to find out with those school teams in the matchup in game one. And that will be happening right underway here soon, so keep your eyes peeled of what's going on. But right in between of those two for the next game. Back to you guys. And this one gets back to Kuskinen as he went down. And no deflection given over as Cole will have it again at Lindholm. Lindholm snuck up in the blue line. And now Eskinen will deep it out again. The zone give again to Steele. Finding Smith right for the left wing. Doesn't want to take the effort as he gives it back to Steele and back to Harley. Harley shot, stop made as Smith with the rebound. Off of Foxka. And off to Kankapa. Kankapa giving go to Lindell again to Foxka. Foxka for the cut, saved by Demko. What a stop made here for Vancouver team. And just only 13.20 to go in a second. Teams are set, ready for the next face off. It is tied up, 1-1. One, one. And the way we'll put it in for Vancouver. Hughes can't take the puck effort. And Sutter will have it out. This one takes it over. And now he gives it again with a deep in diagonal lane in over to the goaltender. Demko will now have it over again to Hughes. Vancouver pushing their way on his own. Giving no quarters as he battled for a loose puck. Marchman will now have it now over again to Lindell. Can't take the puck out. Patterson recovers the puck. And Aronik over near Hoglander. The cutting bound. Here's Hoglander. Propels his shot. Creeper goal goes. That stays out of the net. And over again to Duchesne. That center goes right over into the right wing. Good poke down here for Dallas Stars as he will now have it again to the Hoglander. This one takes down. Patterson has it over. Looks like he wants to be in a hurry. In the corner, Johnston got a caught. The pass to Sutter. Sutter can't take the puck out. Bozier with the puck in right again, weaving around the zone. Finding Miller. That's safe. Now he gets it over to Sutter. The Sutter pass, and it's Corona with the puck seal. Bozier loses the puck, rebounds it. Now he finds Milkayev again to pull. Hold to Freeman, fires it! Now in a chopper stop made by Ottinger. Now it's recovered for Dallas. He will fire that puck over to Johnson. The pass to Tanev, and now here's Stankovic. Stankovic, watching for trouble, and a stop by Demko. Well, it's been really kind of like an okay rule. For time to Demko, this need to be out there for a never take. Face off coming up for you between Vancouver and Dallas. Both teams tied up for one. Face off win for the Canucks. Now Freeman will have it the other way. Give again to Pokosin. Pokosin shot. Misses wide, and this one goes right off the glass, and Robertson gives it over to Sutter. The Sutter gets again to Gitz. And shoots close save by Demko. Just 10 29 left to go in the second period. Looks like they wanted to get that one back out there. And the face-off is underway now. With the win, here's Freeman. Freeman slides it over to Cole. Cole right toward the right wing. Looks it over, and Smith's Robertson with the steal. Here he comes on the first door to fast break. Emphasis. Vince gets again to Harley, not finding Heiskanen. Heiskanen now gets the Harley back to Robertson. Fires it on that. 
They're going to stop me by the goaltender. Hits moving around again. Now finding Haskin in again to Harley. Another puck movement. Haskin shot. Where the goal for Sierra Ray? Pavelski, now finding Heiskin in, and now it's over to Marchman. Give it over now. This is Marchman's shot. Glove saved by Demko. Give a good little, little rest here with 9 3 to go in a second. I saw what Jason Robinson must have gotten in there. That one just got stroked badly. He's a little bit limping. I don't know what's going to keep on coming down. Now they're off to the next face-off. One and one is a score in the second. Now it's Vancouver as if Patterson wins the face-off. Poole tries to give it over now to Sutter. Sutter with the cut. Trying to race it over. Another pass stopped by Oninger. Bob broke it up. I see they lost the effort. Duchesne. The deep pass to March Bay. Here's the take. Over with the shot. And stopped by Demko. 9-0-1 to go in the second period. With some coming up games in between, we have another one as we're ready to see things up. As we got game two underway here, that will be the in-between of the Canes and the Leafs. That's happening here at the same time. This will be the last game at 8 p.m. Then it will be happening with the other side of it for the Canucks and the Stars as this will be happening here at the same time at 9.30 p.m. That will be all games catching you around only on Set of Beats. And, of course, we've got a new skit that's happening here that will be keeping your eyes on the, um, the party crashers. That will be a new one to keep your eyes on here. But, unfortunately, for the truth, this will be um, pushed back until the next, next year, until further notice. But as you're at the moment, this will be a new uh, cra party crashers. Yep, that's going to be another take here because that's very happy to hear for my next skit to come up with my idea because I always love to party things around and this one is always the big deal once nobody is calling. So, I like to make that one up. That will be all of them here to bring things up. That will be happening on July 29th to keep your eyes on. All games here on Son of Beast and a new episode of the skit We'll be releasing soon. Stake of a not fine slaughter shot. Pat saved by Demko. They really need to be out there. I don't know what's going to keep on coming down there, but that really needs to stop them. Slaughter with the puck steal. And Stake has it now over again to Johnston. Finding Sutter. Sutter gets to Johnston. Fires it! Up and over the net and out of play. Now they're off to do another face-off. It's a one-on-one -on -one game with under 7.30 to go. We've already passed the midway mark of the period. That skews will not cover it again if I learn it. And here's Mikhaev right toward the wing. Takes a big hit, and Pavelski will now have it again to Kings. Kings dragging it over to Robertson. He's back on ice this time, as he will now have it over again to Kings. Kings right over again to Heiskanen. And Carly right toward the wing again to Heiskanen. Back to Gates. Hits again to Mark Charlie. Carly shot, left save by Demko. Pavelski trying to go for a big deflector, but it doesn't hit in with a big tipper, as this one is denied by the goaltender. The win puts it in for Vancouver. Warnick will now try to give again the views with under 6.40 to go. And now here's the take. Right to Mikaya. Over to Mazur. Shoots! Save what a blocker made by Oninger. Kavelski goes down and skips for the rebound. Over now to Robertson. Snipes it! Nice reach for Denko. This one stops the play with 6.17 to go. And they were feeling like a lot of energy fear for Vancouver fans. It looks like they wanted to have it all. You know, just when you definitely play it. I know it's like, how in the world can they do that? I know it's not really the easier way to get that one through, but I always say this, they got to know it right away. Duchesne lost the puck, as now Heiskin in again to Charles Harley. Harley shot, stopped by Demko. 6-2 in the second period, still looking like they wanted to get right into it. Now they're ready for the next face-off. 
It is still a clear game to have it here. In the second period, we're still tied up. Freeman now finding again to Sutter. Sutter on the airway, now finding Cole. And here's Freeman. Big bubble down, and that's going to be on. Marchman has another boarding call. That's going to be on the Stars. Oh, no. How does this happen? Well, because he didn't have to Mason Marchman. He got bubbled up, and he just got that boarding. It looks like he just pulled on someone. And watch what happened. Yep, you see what he did? Because he went out the hole, and he just started to try to knock him over the boarding. That is just a, almost a cross-checking. That is no good for the Dallas Stars to pick up. Now the win for the Canucks. Redirected on the traffic as Lindell will fire that puck deep. Vancouver resets their group as Hughes will now have it over in the Dallas zone. Hughes gives over to Lindell. That blocked the shot by Lindell. And Steele will have it over in his own end. And he clears that puck out as he went down. Here's Hughes. He will now have it over. Finally get to Lindell. And here's Fosca. He will now have it over again to Lindholm. Lino, right toward on the back of the slot. He fires that one around the net. And here's Hankapo. On his takeover, and it's Hankapo with the losing puck. He'll now have his chance. Here's Lindholm for the lead. So, almost made it in. But I just stops that way. You never see what goes on like that. That's where you're taking it over in that big heater. Teams are lined up and ready for the faceoff. Canucks still trying to get the early lead with 2-1 two, two, to go. And now as the win puts it in, Sutter will fire it out around the net to Heiskanen. And Jimmy Benn will try to let the puck clear out. Here's Demko, right toward the back. And Rodick will have it again to Sutter. Sutter finds Garland. Garland right toward the left wing. In towards the right. Who's the puck after? Find Sutter. Stop with a big save here. Here's Hintz. Hintz holds on the puck. With the chance for a short hand it, this one stopped. 4 10 to go in the second period, just down to a wire for the Kate Canucks power play. Sutter shoots, and this one's off again. Looks like it's time, it's about to expire. And Marchman comes out of the penalty box. That's two in a row in a penalty kill. But that one will just stay out of his zone and this one is back into even strength. Full strength that going to be clearly enough. That one is just going to be almost way too much conjecture out there. That one's not going to give up their soon timer at that point. Lindell shoots, close save by Demko. 320 left to go in the, in the second period. As now here's Garland. Garland moving around again. This one's knocked out. Hangabot trying to get to De Delandria. And Robertson shoots! Well, it's saved by Demko. 3 of 2 left to go in the second period. Looked like they wanted to get this one goal right away. Now the teams are lined up and ready for the next faceoff. You can still feel the energy now in Vancouver at Rogers Arena. It's still a tie game. Duchesne wins it. Up and stopped again by the goaltender, and Duchesne has it again to lose out. And now shoots off the blocker. Off of the laundry up. But her backhander, this one stopped by Demko. And look at this place cheering. They are just living alive right now. Do you hear that, people, Quinn Penn? They're making this one a great day. Yes, I know that happened. I know you can feel it. I know I can feel it. But I think that Demko is really doing a great save. I mean, he's been, like, on fire right now. Bigger round of a save. I mean, he's still alive. Blocked the shot by Mikhaev. Delandria trying to grab that puck. He went down after him. Robertson gives it over to Delandria. And Demko will have to stop here. We're under two minutes to go in a second. Coming down to the end of the second period, still looking for a leadoff score in the second. Henderson wins in our faceoff. Hughes loses the puck on the pass. Hankapa try to give over to Hintz. Hintz throws it. Big save by Demko. He just made that one rocky moment. 
with that screen going. I don't know what's going to keep on coming down. I mean, that almost has to be out of here in anybody's way. Is there one way that they try to stop one? I don't know what's going to keep on coming next. Who's finds Corona? He looks at Sutter on a shot, stop, and this one goes back to Gintz. And it's fires that one right again to Pavelski. Hughes will have that puck in. Rolling it down back to Gorland. Gorland lost the effort. And now it's Heiskanen with the puck again. Now finding Pascal with under a minute. Here's a chance now. For Big Timber. See you all. Stopped by Depko. Right to the side of the net. Harley gets to Heiskanen. Looks over to Harley. Harley shoots a glove save. Looks like a lot of great shots happen for Dallas, but not for Vancouver. Just 30.4 seconds in the second period. They ain't nothing to do that anyway. I don't know what's going to keep on messing them, but that's their Vancouver stop. And the win puts it in for the Canucks. You lost that by one effort as he fires that one out. Smith can't get the puck back. Hughes fires it. Off the glass and out of play. Next face-off will be Kate taking it in. Tosca wins the face-off. And it's over now with the pass over. Here's a deep one to the steal for the lead. And stop by the go. And that's going to end the second period. Both teams are tied up. Demko with the wild save and a great goal by Sutter. Be back after this. We are off and ready for the final period in Vancouver. And here we go, ready to start things up in Vancouver for the last one in game one. Let's have a takes in between those two guys, as we will be seeing how they did. Well, just been playing it for some of the reasons. And I always say that there's too many uh too many on the ball score. The Dallas Stars here are just knocking it out of here. They were trying to quit, but I didn't really think they were doing really well. And I have a lot of a bad range about that. Because they don't play really well, you can't play it like that, you don't want it to get too much out of them. Yeah, I agree. It looks like the Dallas Stars we don't need to try to work things up again in game two. Because if, if it's something happens again, then they won't even just try to like let them go for B. Let them and try to get beat right by it. And they say you don't have to just let them be in there. I mean, you don't play it like that. I mean, that's that's on your roof. You don't want to just go right into it. The stop made by Ottinger, and this one will give it over now to Pravelski. They really need to have this one coming in. I don't know what's going to keep on coming, but that is a hard one. Nice one shot, but it's gloved up by Demko with passing on a man mark in the third. For the start, and it's still a tie game. Now the win, and the shot has been stopped again. Nice, great save here by Demko, and here's Pavelski with the shot, glove save. Great shot effort, and it's another stop made by Demko. Looks like he is still not trying to get out of here. And here's the call here. I give it over now to Gru. Gru Mayo Eskin is one of the great things to have that went in there. The better look of it is a change off here for going, going skating and backwards. The better one is to take, and yeah, it's a great one to have it in there if you have it all there pressure in. The better range is this old pool, and it's not a great way choice to go back the other way. But if you're asking it, he's got a great way to eat. In reverse, and it flies out play. Still a lot of full pressure left here for Dallas. Still need to get a leadoff score in between. Now the win. Here's, here's another one. Harley shot blocked up by Horonic. Stops the puck as Duchesne will have it. And here's Horonic. Loses the puck effort as Mikhaev will have it. Caught it save here by Ottinger on the pad. And Duchesne trying to go after him. Duchesne went down. Great stop by Cole as Mikhaev will have it at the airway. This one bangs it up in the corner, and it's now back to Delandria. 
Belandria, right over in, right towards the left. Give it there to March Band, and over in the middle is Deshane. Deshane can't let, get this puck going. Ulster with the puck. Again to Johnston. Over now to Delandria. The pass over. Johnston's shot for deflections out of here. Trying to hit that one, attacking out. Again to Hunk the puck. Hunk the puck giving it again to Ben. And now it's Lindell. Lindell's shot saved up by Demko. Pockle skates, ready to go, right toward into the left wing. Trying to cover it up. Here's Cole. Cole in the way. Saved by Oninger. 16-31 to go in the third period. Looks like they wanted to have that lead taken over. Just big how it is. Got to get that going. Vancouver wins the faceoff. Redirected and that's to Ned. Back again to Babelski. Towards the wing. What will he do? Spins across. Give it go to Robertson. That way it's off and not going to get in there as Freeman sticks it out. Popko skin. Fires that out. Sutter. Give it to Ned. And now he will have it over to Babelski. Babelski lost that one here as Kinks makes his way down. And we'll not have it, but I think it's going to be a no goal. I think we got to look it over again. I think Hintz was near the crease, and I don't think this one's now going to happen. Yep, looks like looks like the both guys are in there. They're blinding. It looks like they're blinding that goal to me, and this one has happened. First, it was the first player that happened over here, lined up. Then, Hintz just came in here. That's not going to count. That's Robertson that's going to take it over, and then said, hey, you're never going to get that one in there. That's what's going to happen. That change is over it, and that's what the rugby has been signaling in. Because two guys were in a crescent, and that's going to change it over. With no chance on the lead, here's another takeover. And Mavelski will now have it over now to try to give it to Zanav. Luke Kids trying to go in in the breakout zone. For Liam, he scores! Wow! Racing in toward the middle, and now has a goal. They're up in the lead by one. It was so much better for Rupp Kinson making the goal. But that's what you always got to do. When you keep on rooting in down, you roll in right towards the middle and then root the obstacle away. But that one just deflected off, and that was a great look. Rupp Hintz with another goal. Has 77, and that's another playoff goal for the Dallas Stars. And now they're up ahead by one. You can't really make him feel like that Rupp Hintz was able to get there. And I know he was able to get that one right straight away. Have that rolling down already, but I have never spotted it on. That was a lot of great stoppage. And this group is got to make a great drive. Give it up with a good look. That's Robinson with the puck steal. He now will fire it around again. Today, can't get that out of here. Gavelski has it over to Tanev. He fires that one around the net. Now finds Johnston. A lot of real room here. Give it to Sutter. Sutter gives to Stankovic. Stankovic shot for deflection off the, the big tipper. This one stayed out. Sutter with the puck. Toward the corner on the lane. Up again. This one's back to Patterson to Cole. Turn a shot and stop by Oninger. Nice save here by Ottinger with under 15 minutes in the third. Now another one coming in for the faceoff. It is a two to one game, Dallas. Now the win puts up for Dallas. Harley with it now. Diana it over. Stagelman can't get the puck in to recover. Well, sir, what the puck now finding Hughes. Hughes. Oh, trying to make a loose out of it. He puts a smack down, and now it's back to Harley. Give again to Stankovic. Now we'll try Johnston this time. Johnston to Heisken and shot saved up by Demko. Harley finding Johnston. For another chance. Big save. That a rebound by Heisken. Johnston went outside of the zone, and this one will regroup. Now bring it back on onto the ring. Will be Ben. 
and he's right toward the corner. Give it over to Harley. Harley lost that one. Bosher for a chance to tie. Saved again by Ottinger. That's how it happens. That one just broke up the play, and there was no other way to stop them. That's what just turned to be a little closer to range out there. Now it's back and over again to Harley. Harley changes over now, trying to get the high skin in. Shoots it! Left saved by Demko. Nearing down the midway market of period. They still need to get this one back in straight. After another face-off attempt, they're ready to do this one again. 2-1. As the win put up for Vancouver is Hughes Hughes. Got a big hit here. Over now to Delandre. No cut inbound. Her rebound! Save you on the glove by Demko. Here in a 12 minute mark in the third. We need to have another takeover right in between of the Canucks or Stars. A lot of time on attack here for Dallas, but it looks like Vancouver might need to get this one another attacking done. Dallas Stars wins the faceoff. And it's back to Cole the other way. Cole tries to give over to Pakulski. Pakulski right in the wing. Off to Lindholm with the shot. It's to flick it off. Between the legs. Here's Hankapa and Cole have it back. Down to Pakulski. Shot. And another one misses. Marchman trying to bump it out. That was a great stop here for the... For the Connects, and Lindholm is back to Garland. you would never see that coming like that. I don't know what's going to keep that percentage out there. You really are starting to stop at a slow. Here's Mavelski. A chance in front. Save by Demko. What a stop here. And that one gives it up. Mavelski the hits. Great timing angle. I never see what's going on. But that happened like already. I thought Mavelski would be able to get this one in there, but that one didn't go in through. Now the win for Gates. Lindell shot. Her deflection is off again as Freeman will try to have it over the arrow way. And this one's recovered by Robertson. In the cadet zone is Hits. Hits kicks the puck to Robertson. Now he will try it over again. Hits lost this time. Cole again to Hoglander. Hoglander trying to get it in there. Almost took it away by Pavelski, but Hoglander has it back. A shot! Hot save by Ottinger. And back to Pavelski. Now he's in a way this time. Nowhere else to go. For backhander. Another shot saved up by Demko. He was going to try to get a backhand, but that didn't help. Well, he has to just try to shoot it better at this moment. That Pavelski need to get this one in there straight. It's not going to turn out well enough at all. They don't need to take it out of a percentage out there. We need to find somebody else to get it clear. Oh, and a miss fires that one. That one goes right back to the star zone. And now, trying to play it back the airway, it gets over to Lindo. Just surpassing the midway mark of the period. Bosca in there. Good puck stop here by Demko. Smith can't get that puck in going. Pedersen's got that one, and it's stolen as Smith will have it again to Lindell. Lindell to Honkapa, now he's over and out into Foxka. Foxka with the shot, and a pass saved up by Demko. Steele can't get the puck moving, and Honkapa trying to give it to Harley. Foxka gives it back over to Harley. Lost the effort with the shot. Try to pull it back. Usher with the puck right into the wing. Back crumbled up already and Johnston. Oh, big hit by Mikhaya. I've just never seen that one play here before. Physical contact, I was gonna almost gonna take out that one, allegedly. But this one doesn't really take all of them what they got. Blocked up, Hughes with the rebound. And it's saved up by Ottinger. Van gives it over to Johnston with eight minutes to left. Remain in the third. Stankovic right over now trying to give over to Hakapa again of Harley. Shot! Left save by Demko! Under eight minutes remaining in the third, it's still a 2-1 game. Now they're off to an next faceoff. Still a 2-1 game, Dallas.
and a win. This one will be Harley. Now back to Heiskinen. Heiskinen now finding Harley. Again to Duchesne. Duchesne, deep shot, saved by Demko. Under eight minutes remaining in the third. Looks like that the Canucks really want this back. And if you're all waiting on, because I got a new video here for you, because that's right, I am heading off to New York City, and this will be our next place here to get right to return for the BFDI and NMA Sandy event. And that's going to be happening here. After last year's success, this year is going to be more different, much different here, as this one will be, it will be the same for the show, but the but this one with the feeder, it's going to be different. At the NYU Skirball. That's another take over here. That's why I'll be doing a video here on the other side of it. And I'll be able to do some Q&As if I have a lot much time right now. So, I'll see what I can do. I'll be having it here only on Center Beast. You go into that show? It's going to be amazing right now. I mean, you can't wait. I can't wait to see what's going to happen. I thought the question's going to be amazing. And just to how it happens, I mean, just enjoy it. And if you got tickets here for any, an MSA, a BFDI tour, Thank you so much for everybody. As right now, all the tickets are already been sold out already. And this will be happening to every location. First stop, New York City. Second stop, Houston, Texas. Then the third will be Seattle, Washington State. Then fourth, and on the West Coast side in Los Angeles. Fifth is Illinois or Chicago. And finally, the last trip location at Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And with the new excitement that's happening, maybe there might be a new expansion plan that might be adding to another location in there. So, there could be another way to have it, but the popularity might stay the same. I know it might, have, might be a trip. I'm thinking that there might, if there, if there's another way to have it in there, I think we should be able to add one of them. Might be what they got, hopefully. And now to take over to Wu Cruz, your take. J.C. Robinson's been doing really well with all that snipe in his own. I know he was a little bit kind of like unaggressive for sure, but I'm guessing that he's a little bit slow to get up. But his better way to have it in there is kind of like a hard one to try to stick it up. It's not really like an easier way to have it in there. But that just can't let it get bowed from by. I'm thinking that he might be he might be staying alive, so there could be a chance that for, for, for Jason Robertson. I hope we all see him for every couple of the games to keep an eye on. But that's all he got. I think that option is a good one to take. Another win for Dallas Stars, and it's back to Robertson with five minutes left. Took a smash down, what a nice rumble takedown. Oh, just don't take that WWE chance. Oninger is going to hold it with just under five minutes left to remain in the third. So with that being said, there might be an expansion plan for the, for the next trip of location, except for Canada, which of course I don't know if that will be a chance opportunity to give him up, but the other way I might be finding him out, it could be another change out differently. So we'll find out if there's another new expansion plan for a relocation. What's your take, guys? Well, I don't know. I don't know what Adam's going to take, but I'm going to say it's like, it may be what they're calling for. I think Denver, Colorado may be the adding expansion plan because if that happened in 2020, it was supposed to happen, but everything got canceled already and then changed it up. So I'm thinking that they should add a location for, for Mile High in Colorado. That might be my fair optional, but I don't know what's going to happen now. I think it might be a great way to have it. Well, that gets you on a point there, Nickel. I mean, you've got a good feeling already. I mean, you might have it all. I would expect that North Carolina would be a better way to have it. Or Atlanta. I don't know it would be happening, but this might be what take it is. So, we may never know what it's going to be like. Here's Mikhaev on the shot. We directed, stopped again by Honey Joe. And a pass back to Johnston. Looks it over again to the net. He fires that one around the net. And finding Johnston on his way down again to Sutter with the Robinson shot. Up and away, it goes off the glass. Big hit! Wow! Canucks have been a powerful team out there. Ben Sutter just said, you're going to take over me? That's going to be enough. That's not how it's happening. I don't think it's going to ever happen again. And here's a take to Robertson. Get pass over against and now finds Stankovic. 
Just uh, down to three minutes remaining in the third. Taking over the puck now is Stankovic. He finds Kitts. Kitts, right to the right wing. The pass over. Shot stop me! Oh, Demko! He's really fighting for it. The fans are just really are making this one agreeable. Mm, that change off is never happening. I was expecting that this would be a lot changer than that. And they were stopped by Ottinger. Alondria, give to Duchesne. Duchesne, right toward the right wing. Put the back in, blocked up. Stopped again, oh, that's good, I wanna have that one. And it's blocker stop me. Delandria, finding window. He got all of that one in here. For a backhander, and you guys, that one with a chance. And it goes up and in an inning. Now they're ready for the next face off. Just down to two minutes remaining in the third. Now the win for Vancouver. It's rolling back again to Mikhaev. Back to Boozer. Oh, he took a hit. In center ice, and Duchesne's got it this time. Duchesne, oh, will they take it in? Oh, big save, oh, my over the net. Finding Mikhaev. Back of a shot, another save here. Duchesne grabs the rebound. Over down to the laundry, a first hands. Big save by Demko. Deriliger going everywhere right now. Shooting that puck that quickly. Streak that out. Got to get over this. This is really like an intense game. I don't know what's going to keep on happening. Now they're going to decide that this one might be a chance to take in for Makaya. He missed that shot. Just one minute left to remain. Hughes can't take the effort. Lindell will try to have it over with 50 seconds. The pass over, not finding hits. And he can take that in there. Back to over again to Highlander. They're bringing an extra skater on for the Canucks. Here they go, as it right now reserves in the corner, on the way. Shoot, saved by Ottinger. 33 seconds in the third period. This is gonna be a tight matchup. I know it is. But don't say that we are gonna get bound out. We're gonna get beaten. We need this one out there, guys. The win for the Stars, as right now tonight we'll try to swing it around. And Sutter, and this one will be Johnston, pop to clear. And now I see it's whistle. Ben will be able to take that goal for the win. They start things up with a great start for the Stars as Jimmy Ben ends this game in game one. Just got to tip it in for Jimmy Benn. I mean, that's what happens for Johnson. When there's no icing, this is what happens for Jimmy Benn. This really needs to get this one in there, a finished tank. So this time, it is now a 1-0 start for Dallas Stars as they are up ahead to get this one going. Remember the last game happened here with the Edmonton Oilers? They definitely had that 1-0 start. And then right now, I think the Dallas Stars might be able to take it over with that one in the second game. So I think there might be a chance effort. Well, if there is for our next game, we'll keep an eye on that one here shortly. And this is it. The last chance, and it's over. Dallas Stars wins the first game. It's a 3-1 final score. Happened to be what they expected for Jake Ottinger. He finally does it all. Never takes a net. Energizer saves it all. That's what he definitely did to Cape Benedict. What a great night this is. And now we will wrap things up, and we will be back soon enough for the second game of the conference finals. This is Sonic Beast along with Paul Point Pen and Nickel and of course Wu Cruz. We'll see you guys next time. Good night everybody. Alright, thank you guys so much. Time for three star players in the game. Happened to be with Jamie Ben with the empty netter, but this one happens to be the second star player of Jake Ottinger with 45 saves in the game. And your first star goes to Tatcha Demko with 84 saves. But I guess that group gets must have had that goal. This one must have maintained it already, so they finished it off really well. And that's not happened because this one starts things off. Here's what I did with the total statistics. 87 over 46 total shots on goal for Dallas. And it was 60 over 47 for Vancouver Canucks. 13 minutes for Dallas over 448 for the time on attack. And it was 89 over 73 passing percentage for Vancouver. 39 over 35 for Dallas for the faceoff wins. Penalty kill was only 16, only cleaned for Vancouver. With no chance in the power play, it was 13-47.
Well, I guess they were doing too many. I think the next game, they're going to have to just start doing it better at most of the, most occasionally. I know it's going to keep on coming down, but it might be another way to get through it. And that's going to wrap it up, folks. Thanks for joining us here for the first game of the Western Conference Finals, and we'll see you all again for next one. Have a great night, everyone. And that's it for a while as the NHL 24 on EA Sports Dial of the Stanley Cup Conference Finals. This is Silver Spoon. I'd like to thank you all for watching, and we'll see you all again soon. Stay tuned for the second game for both teams in between the Eastern and Western Conference. Same time happen? Hopefully there will be. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you again next time. Bye-bye. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.